So let's take a look at the logbook function of the Cybex range of ECUs. This is not something that a lot of people know how to use or even used it. So it's important to show you so that if you haven't been able to capture, say, a problem with the car or something you're not happy with in a data log, the logbook is really useful for basically helping you to find where the problem lies. It also allows you to see any of the limp mode courses now in the latest firmware. So from 1.72 onward, it records the limp mode which has happened. Okay. Now, the logbook is really simple in the way that it's set up in the fact that you've just got literally an on-load engine speed and an on-load throttle position. This is just telling the logbook of when you're actually on-load, okay, so you're actually pushing the engine, okay, and this is then recorded because when this happens, it starts to take values like a minimum fuel pressure that's being achieved at that point, the maximum water temperature and air temperature. So it's useful in order to basically help you fault find where problems lie. So these are blue items, so you need to program them if you do change them. And you can actually look at the on load time. So if I just go here and then trace, you can see here that the log on load time is here. And if I was to say rev the engine, you can see that this will now count up and you'll see the timer starts to count. So I was on it for two seconds, I was above 50% throttle and above 4000 RPM. And every time you do that, you can see it just counts up again. So the useful thing about this is that you can then see what the customer is doing when they're on load. Okay, so what we can actually do now is we're actually going to just set a limp mode. So at the moment, if we go to limp mode here, you can see the car is happy and is in no limp mode at all. So I'm actually going to force the limp mode here. I'm actually going to just go down to sensors and then go to coolant temperature, engine trip, and set the engine trip above uh, below what we're currently at. So set it to 85. So you can see here that straight away we've got an, uh, an engine coolant temperature trip. So I'm going to undo that. Now, when we go down, you now next time go to connect to the ECU and pull the data off it by going to device, read data. You can pull the data off the ECU. And then here I'm just going to put in here logbook test. Press OK or F10. And basically it downloads the data off the ECU. You can then choose to delete all the sessions on the device because you've already extracted the data. So you don't have to worry about it being in there. So we clear the logbook and we can clear the um, data logging. You can set enter some comments in there to, if that helps run the logbook. Um, but in this particular instance, I don't need that. So I'm just going to close. Now we can see down here the logbook, uh, log files and the logbook are saved in this location here. So what we can do is you can actually then go... Um, to view that item, so the best ways of doing that is you can either go to SCAL and then go device logbook, and you can see the current logbook that's actually on the uh, the car. So you can see this is where we're just idling here. So where you want to look at the actual logbook from where the limp has occurred and where we've had the problem, you need to go to the folder of where your data logs are downloaded. So you can see we've just downloaded the data's been downloaded now, 12:44, and it's this logbook item here. So we can open this, and now you can actually see some of the items that are, have been logged. So the over engine, over edge engine speed and the on load engine speed obviously is set so you know what they are. Then you've got the amount of time the engine has been running for and the amount of time that it's been on load for. Distance travelled if we've been moving, which we haven't. And then here you can see the maximum engine speed. So the maximum engine speed I've got to is 6,376. And then the limp activation for the engine coolant trip. Now, obviously, if there is loads of logbook items saved, for example, say if the number of limp activations was more than one, what it means is it means that, that obviously you need to look at the logbook per run entry. So you click on this, that what it would do is it would bring up all the dates of every time you've started the ECU or you've uh, been using it, so a logbook would be created. And they'll all be brought down here. And then basically you can then look at the items per run event every time the actual ECU has been online. So you can see the maximum coolant temperature, the maximum uh, oil temperature, the minimum fuel pressure, uh, the minimum on load oil pressure and stuff like that, um, and the, the battery voltage and also the ECU temperature. So it's really useful for basically helping customers that have not been able to do data logging and you've got the cars come back to you and say that the problem might have happened uh, say like a month ago. The logbook is always there, so you can always pull the data off to see what's going on. And it also helps to verify that everything's working properly. Hopefully that's been useful.